don't know if she thought about it. I don't know if this is your boys. Several RP Lost Surgeon. She had to realize. We got the name now. Come on here and be like, yo, of course I gave it to her. Right. If anything, he was going to be like, yeah, that nasty bitch caught it from somebody else. Of course. <laughs> I might give it. So again, you know, and this was. A Why is she smiling? Ask, I'm not a journalist in, in that sense, but ask some question because I think he was going to spin the, the public with them not knowing about like HSV2 in, in the sense of. Yeah, you could seemingly not have it, but have it. You get what I'm saying? Right. And right. He, because he came on here saying that he had a 20, 2023 test, but he's talking about HSV1, right? And he's like, well, you know, everybody got like a cold sore. No, we're talking about genital herpes. Here. Correct. So HSV2, which is HSV2. Hey, hold on real quick. Hey, Danae, how are you? I'm I'm actually more than great now, actually. Um, uh, thank you guys so much for giving him a platform to do this. I really am so grateful. You guys don't understand how much this just helped me with my situation. So I just want to express admiration. I know academics, you may not like OnlyFans models, but you are doing an amazing thing for us. Um, I don't want to cry. I don't want to get emotional on here. I just want to state facts. Okay. Uh, okay, sure, you know. For 100 percent, and and again, uh, it's it only makes sense to have you on. I obviously want to hear both sides and. Um, you know, I don't know. If, were you being sarcastic by saying thank you to platforming him, or are you actually being serious? No, I'm being so serious. Okay. Um, because there's a lot of girls that have been in the same circum circumstance as me, and they just haven't conjured up the confidence. They didn't have the people around them to tell them, like, listen, it's it's okay that you went through this. And I was blessed enough to be in that predicament where my mother was like, listen, I'm behind you full-fledged i have friends that are behind me 100 percent waiting to drop videos and proof and everything like that so it's just like i really i i i literally can't express my gratitude enough you guys like i yeah so talk us yeah. through hold on talk us through exactly everything let's go from the beginning i want to know because obviously you know tomorrow his results come out and uh yeah 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 so i i want to know like from the jump exactly if you don't mind telling the story for everyone that doesn't know um go ahead so as far as the story with Gucci goes, um, basically, I, as many people know, Deshay Frost um, gave me the opportunity to go on his um, show, and there I broadcasted my personality. Um, I what personality? Your ass. Through what we did on the stream and everything like no that. No offense. And can I clear up this speculation real quick about Deshay? Um, so me and Deshay did have sex protected Damn. while we were on his show in november of 2023 i contracted hsv2 february 10th 2024 i did not know that i had it until late march I so how many niggas did she affect to go to piedmont urgent care and get that exact date so i can have that exact receipt for you right okay the last time me and him had vaginal sex was november of 2023 so you he does not have hsv you said vaginal sex did you did you guys later on have oral sex yes okay and when when did you guys have oral sex june okay a few months ago but only oral. okay only oral. Hey, man, so again there's gonna My be a lot of sex shame in my um that, that's kind of have to be given to like the mass audience who just don't know there's a lot of taboo it. stuff so you said you contracted it from from your knowledge in february how do you, how could you prove or how would you be able to prove when you contracted it? Because from my understanding of that virus is that someone may have it for a unlimited amount of time, but might only know once they have an outbreak. So how did you know that you contracted at that time as opposed yeah, what to being had it all along and the symptoms presented itself at that time that you then went to the urgent care and got tested? Okay. So with collaborating with gucci gucci was the first person i've ever seen an active lesion on or a lesion ever in my life with a sexual partner that i've engaged with a friend of mine whenever i was in high school contracted hsv and i saw her lesions but it looked nothing like his it was brand new it was not a healed sore or nothing he was the first person i've ever had sex with that i saw something like that with not only that a few days um my first time that i ever experienced any kind of irritant was five days after I first had sex with Gucci. On February 15th, I thought that I split open my vagina because whenever we were having sex, I couldn't finish because it hurt so bad. I literally thought that I was, I split it open. 
it started bleeding and everything. I was so dry whenever everything happened. It, it literally was so confusing to me. And by then, I had already asked him what it was on his penis. No, I did not ask him the first time we had sex what it was. He on said in the chat, she can burn him. Job as a person Easy. who knows, and I don't care what you say, Gucci, like, respectfully, you know that you lie. You have went over, ran yourself in circles on the stream all night. Can we go through that portion? Because he said you were aware of the open sore or cutter lesion. He said he had told you that, and you had said, I watched some of your videos. You said that he had told you that he nicked himself while shaving his shaft. And he came on the stream to say, after that, because you have filmed five scenes and you could confirm and deny any of these things I'm saying, but I'm just stating what he said. He said, maybe while you were giving him fellatio, your teeth, Worsened the open cut yeah, like she that made it dick, appear bro. like that on the last video. What's her response? Like she that? Dick. My response is that he did not say anything about his lesion or his his sore. Whenever we first but you've seen, seen it, it, bitch. At all, um, it wasn't at all. It wasn't until February fourteenth. Whenever did we you were notice? In bed. Did you notice? Huh? It? Did you notice? Okay, yes, then you noticed it. Process, whenever I was coming into it, was this was my first collab, professional collab professional collab the collaborations that i had prior were all romantic partners that i were com was comfortable enough to have sex with on camera he was the first person that i ever had sex with that i did not know prior and not only that he was somebody that i was watching online and that i was fantasizing over for the longest so whenever i got what? there i i i assumed that it was a safe space did you do what, what did you sorry what did you Nigga, think it was? What? you know because you you know you did see it so what did you think you that assumed it was? it was a safe space i honestly whenever I was going into it, I really didn't think much of it. It wasn't, so what's crazy is, is the reason what made me ask is because I I don't know if I can show the videos anymore, right? But it changed. What it was the first day that I met him turned into three different things, you know? I didn't know what it was, what that was on his dick. At first, <laughs> it was just one little circle and you can see in the pictures that I, I posted, in that black outfit, you could see that the lesion looked like one little scab. If you scroll over with me in the pink dress, that was the day, February 14th, the day that I asked. You can see that the lesion turned into three separate placements. I, and, if, if I have to. It, it, just asking for clarification. So when I was listening to him and maybe, I don't know if Aiden got a different uh, um, you know, conception of what he was saying. So this, you said y'all filmed several times. I thought it was the same day. You're saying this was over several days. Yes, I, I filmed days? with Gucci. The first day we filmed three sets, three sets. So it was the one that went mega viral with the tan and blue blue um, outfit. And then we filmed the black set with the black and the fishnets. And then we filmed an, uh, another set in the same b, b with red. We filmed three sets that day. That day, he invited me to fly out to Houston and spend the week with him. And I agreed. Mm, I packed up my bags. Mm. I packed up my Airbnb. And I literally flew out there. And there, we filmed two sets. Three, actually. One was one in the red set. Another one was while I had the pink dress on. And the other one was a threesome while we were drunk. Mm. And, 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 and. It was in Houston. Nah, that she you was feeling. Hey, she was definitely feeling. Your what penis up, looked like this the first night, but now it's it. it you're noticing some difference. That's that's what you're saying, right? That's not exactly what I said. No, that's not how it went. I literally. That's not what she said. There, I noticed because over time, I noticed that he was like messing with himself. Right. I noticed that he would like put his hand down there. I it, it now I know he was itching it. So he was itching and it. Was you just, saw him itch it. You saw him start to itch it. I, I saw him put his hand down there and fix himself, and uh, now I know that that's a discreet way to scratch your herpes sore. Got it. So uh, I asked him, I was like, hey, what is that on your dick? I didn't say, oh, it changed over time. No. I just said, what is that on your dick? He said, oh, I cut myself while shaving. I said, oh, that's crazy. But Aiden, I completely believe you whenever you say that you have get hair on your dick. I do. I have an ex that had hair on his dick. Yes. So whenever I heard that, I was like, 
No, I've met a man that had hair on his dick before. Sure. And I know it's very rare because I do, I've had sexual partners, numerous sexual partners in the past. There's only one man that I came in contact with that had that, but it's still possible. And you guys can get a doctor to come on here and talk about it. So it's, that's it's why, real. but that's, so that's why you were kind of like, not really like freaking out because you thought, oh, wow. Man, maybe, she's maybe just being for a bad. I understand. That, he's the biggest porn star you don't game. get hair on that? Oh, no, 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 I really no don't way. know. He's one of the biggest porn stars in the game. There's no way he could have that. Got it. I'm 19 years old. This is my first collaboration. I didn't even know that I was supposed to go to talent testing or clear. Bianca Blue, actually, the person that you um, brought up mm -hmm. here, I actually had a conversation with her a little bit afterwards. I would have to check what date it was, but I already told her that he had herpes. She was there mm. the night before I linked up with him. If we compare dates, she was there the night before. If not, she was there two nights before, but she was in that range. She was there and do you believe he had sex with her during that during that time? He had sex with her while he had that outbreak, but she didn't see it. She told me herself she didn't see it. Even oh. whenever we spoke about it and I showed her the videos. She actually saw more videos than the rest of the world saw. She was like, "Oh my gosh. What the fuck?" She even confirmed to me, "Yeah, that looks like herpes." That's why she's not going to sit up here and say I don't think he has herpes. She's not going to say that she's not going to elaborate the story because she knows what I told her back whenever I was still devastated about what happened to me. Do you think she got paid off or do you think she's just keeping her mouth shut for a specific reason? Why, why would she say well, I mean, she wouldn't expose herself. She I had no a idea. porn star. I know this girl from really a can of paint. This was just somebody that I wanted to let aware because she was a collaboration of his. Um, after I caught HSV, um, I actually reached out to numerous porn stars. I met some porn stars in person, um, like on a whim, randomly, and I told them my story. Um, this story was not necessarily a secret amongst the porn community, um, especially if I came across you and I came in contact with you, I did tell. I told as many people as I could. It just didn't get far enough. Got it. Got it. I have a theory, and, and, and I, I gotta wanna, I'm going to parlay into a question. So, if what you're saying is right, and even about this Bianca Blue girl who was just on here, and she might have been exposed to it, who knows if she did, did, did contract the virus, or who knows if she had the virus already, because we all know how the virus presents itself. Mm -hmm. I think the question here also becomes, because I have a theory that there is, and that's why I asked him, I said, how many people you think are in this industry, especially of OnlyFans, Who's on the truth that chat? you think might have the virus, Gucci that might Danae. just be selected to say, hey, okay, you know, Danae wants to shoot with me, I'm having an outbreak, I'm gonna just tell her next week when I'm good, or two weeks, whatever whatever the, the time it is. I feel like, you know, you're the most vocal person that's out in it, and, I, and, and here's the question, why did you out it, and do you think that there are people that are being silent because there's almost a scarlet letter on you right now while other people are like, yeah, he gave me the joint too, but I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep it low because I'm still going to be able to work. Right. Now, when people think of you, they instantly think of that. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, it was built up over time. Um, whenever I first contracted the virus, I really did want to speak out. Um, but because of the people around me, the people I was messing with and everything like that, they didn't want, like what's going on right now, they didn't want the world to think they had herpes too, because I had herpes. So I was really saving other people's asses that I was around. And also, I was also way too afraid to just come out because OnlyFans is my main source of income. I am the breadwinner in my family. Even at 19, 20 years old, I was still the breadwinner in my family. My mom was being assisted and everything like that. I didn't just feel comfortable going out and saying, oh yeah, I had herpes. Or victims of sexual assault, victims of things like this don't just come out blatantly immediately. Even You're right, even that's true, that is true. That I was going to go and do it. So It was just something in my heart that I knew that I wanted to do. So you speaking up now, what's changed, right? Obviously the whole world is, you're not, by the way, I want to let you know, it's it's very, I'm going to let you speak on, your, you know, what you want to speak on. I, I, actually, no matter of fact, I'll hold my thought. You you tell me what you're just about to say. Go ahead. Okay. So um, about a month ago, the man that, the only other man that I publicly had unprotected sex with after I caught herpes, um, at Touch Money V, he does not have herpes either. Um, he called me and he was like, I need to let you know something that's been weighing on me. 
There's another girl saying that Gucci gave her herpes, but she's not going to come out and say. That's probably fifty percent of America. And I don't necessarily want to say her name. I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy, because that is her story and what she wants to tell. But there were rumors that he already gave somebody else herpes, right? And so I was like, oh my gosh. So I was right, because whenever I first caught it, I was like, what if he's doing it to a ton of people? And then after that, um, she had a collaboration that I noticed, and he's some por- she's some porn star's baby mother or something like that. And um, I noticed that she quit OnlyFans after working with him. That's another thing that I noticed. And then he posted a collaboration with a girl that I was mutually um, associated with online. She was another girl that I was afraid possibly got exposed to HSV2. And at that time, it was to the point where it was like, I felt like if I found out another girl caught it after me- Stop, it it's not her. And if I'm being honest, it has happened. And there are people that he, they know that it was him. But as far as their careers, they're not willing to re- jeopardize their reputation. They're not willing to change their career right now. They don't want the hate that's going on because I'm, I'm sure everybody is watching what's going on, um, how people are talking about me and my situation. These girls don't want to be publicly humiliated. There are other women that are too afraid to speak up. And eventually, after this live stream, I have really a really good feeling that they might come out and say what they need to say. But um, that's basically why. Did, real, came out. real quick, how many girls would you say that are that ha- that are you know that have associated themselves with Gucci uh, that you think may have it? That I think, or that I know so that you, far? that you know so far, both. Well. Well, allegedly, no, whatever, because I don't necessarily know if these girls are completely telling the truth, but I do believe them. Um, right now, I have three people confirmed wow. that are telling me that they got it from him um, and tested positive after they collabed with him, um, all of which are on the fence about pressing charges. Um, but I, I want to say something, and I want to show something real quick. Just because he did try to just say that weird stuff about, oh, yeah, she probably gave it to me. So I'm going to go on my quest diagnostics. Mind you, I did not know about talent testing or clear whenever okay. um, this happened. So I'm going to log in because this man, for some reason, didn't want to show himself logging in. Um, little reminder, if you go on Twitter, you'll see that he was known whenever his name was Mandingo Gucci for faking his test results. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Wow. But, um, it's in there all the tea. Him, but watch, it's, it's signing in. Get you need research now after you um, got exposed. You should have done it after you, before you got the shit and you try to get to the bag. 2024, I was still negative for HSV2 and HSV1. And then you have, um, you have, I, and then, sorry. Well, and then what was the, sorry, what was the date that you tested positive for it? The, I can't tell you yet. Uh, as soon as I call, because I will call the place. I did not get an actual, Okay. I didn't get, on here, I got a phone call that I tested positive for it. Okay. Um, it's not working. Hold on, give me a second. It's it's literally loading. Sure. I don't know why this is being crazy, but um. They someone said, can you ask about the melt situation? Did you? Because I know who Mel is. Is that is that a, somebody that you had sex with, not knowing that you had HSV two, or what happened with that? No. Well, respectfully, I really didn't want to talk about that man because he is clout chasing. Um, he's actually started to burn a lot of blitz- bridges with people in the industry um, for some reason. Okay. Um, I, I'm not really sure why. Um, hey, so, so I, I wanted to, you know, you know. Hold you, on, you, hold on. She got it right here. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna scroll to three one. Uh, Three, one, 24, we 24. see it. Yep. Tag AI. <laughs> no AI burning. Wait a second. So I want you to see hepatitis B. So we're going to go to HSV1 and 2. I was still negative. Got it. For both. Got it. Three, one, 